So, in the previous video I talked a little bit about different types of spirit and I thought in this video I would summon them uh, so that people who are sensitive to energies can actually sense them and see them so they may recognize them more easily if they yeah, find them in the wild. So the first type of spirit I will start with is an elemental spirit. I will first find a uh, just a normal one, a neutral one, as they usually are. So here on my left hand is now an earth elemental, which is in its natural state. Earth elementals, they just like to keep things stable, they maintain the ley lines and other energy lines on the planet and the energy circulation. And they provide structure to our world. And this is yeah, a non-upset one, he's just calm. And then I will send this one away and ask or find an angry one. Uh, there's a lot of mining in this area, which has been done, so there are quite upset spirits around, so I'll try to find one for you. So, thank you. you may return to the earth now. So here on my hand now I have an angry elemental spirit and it is just unhappy because you know, humans tend to well, screw up the energy circulation which ultimately weakens the life force and the other greater spirits which then become unable to maintain the harmony and the whole place goes to shit and pollutes. But, well, that's what humans do. <laughs> and, yeah, this one doesn't like it very much. Okay, I will send this one back to where it came from, back to the vines. Okay, now I'll get a life force spirit. And so first I will yeah, find a nice friendly one again and then a little bit upset one. So this is um, a flower fairy which is now on my hand. And flower fairies are very interested, uh, they're very active in spring, they're not just busy with the flowers and the leaves, but also with uh, just procreation in general, also in animals. So they really help with the process of development, of uh, fertilization and then growing into a healthy pattern and trying to integrate the higher energies into the physical bodies. So this is what flower fairies do. So, thank you for coming. <clears throat> and then I will invite an angry nature spirit. Most nature spirits, they're more afraid of humans and they tend to just run away and hide in the as deep as possible in the forest and as far away as possible. And yeah, pretty much all of Western Europe has been depopulated because they are just killed. Because they are connected to their habitats, their habitats are destroyed, they also die. 
and also they're actively being hunted by um, yeah spirits which are summoned by humans mainly in protestant churches so because yeah these spirits want to remove all nature spirits from the planet um, so that they can yeah more easily uh, reshape this planet and humanity without any interference from beings which favor harmony and yeah so yeah these nature spirits then get upset and angry and as you can see possibly also on the energy body of this nature spirit it is actually wounded um, so it has had some not just its habitat destroyed but it was also actively attacked by spirits which are in a way using humans to do their dirty work so they are in a way inspiring us to ravage the earth and nature and destroy habitats but they're also actively attacking these spirits and trying to kill them so in this case the spirit is yeah of course very very angry and upset with humans but if we can actually heal their wounds <clears throat> like I cannot bring back its habitat but I can send healing energy to it now and to draw out the poison which was in the wounds which was inflicted by this yeah luciferical spirits which are guiding humanity nowadays allowing the spirit's wounds to heal by drawing out the poisonous energy it starts to transform and remember more how he was before he got in a way put in this uh, yeah, victim role and then avenger role by what happened to him and it's very likely that instead of seeking out humans to attack he will now just go and hide in the wild as long as there's anything left on this planet at least so thank you for coming and showing yourself to us So, now it's the turn for an astral spirit. We all have lots of astral spirits around us all the time. Um, it's, they're everywhere, it's very full of them. The only time you don't meet them is you go in a place where there is really no conscious life, like underwater, um, high in the sky, or possibly in space. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So astral spirits are almost like a like a background noise, but I'll ask one to come into my hand. So this is a positive one, actually uh, a healing spirit. Who, um, when I was learning to heal, this spirit guided me and taught me uh, a lot of techniques and worked together with me during healings. So it's a good fr old friend of mine. So this is a yeah, friendly astral spirit. Thank you for showing yourself. And in a way, showing themselves or manifesting themselves, they do by coming down to much more, yeah, you could say lower levels, which are more on our level of consciousness. Um, because our reality is very static. It is either one way or the other it cannot change um, and their reality is much more fluid just like we can change our minds we can have different fantasies different feelings different ideas uh, this is the reality which they're used to so 
our highest dreams are, just, are in a way their natural playground, their natural habitat, but they can come down to a place where things are much more sluggish and much more um, inflexible. They tend not to like to do that very much, but yeah, they're sometimes willing to do that. Okay, so now I'll get uh, a negative astral spirit. So this one comes from a care home. Uh, many people in care homes, they suffer from uh, depression, boredom, loneliness, pain, uh, fear. Um, so yeah, the idea of putting all forms of misery and concentrating them in one spot is a really, really, really stupid idea because then you really create a negative spiral and if people are not already in such a state before then they get into such a state so our yeah health institutions are in a way energetically very very unhealthy especially because we never clean them because it always happens that you can have a bad day or a bad mood or whatever and you uh, create a negative energy, attract negative spirits, but it's usually alternated. And also if you've got a building which yeah, has a good energy flow and not too much energy build up, because people around are having different feelings, then it's okay. But if you put everybody with the same feeling in one spot, then it's, the energy becomes irresistible. And yeah, even strong people just get dragged along by the atmosphere. But yeah, such a spirit is um, yeah, just in a way wallowing in its own energy and it's a vibration they're used to and they feed upon it to maintain themselves and yeah, they try to in a way get humans to feed them by yeah, having similar thoughts and feelings as uh, they want. So one of the easiest ways to defend yourself against something like this is to force yourself into another pattern by reading a book or watching some program on the telly or playing a game or something else which in a way um, f creates a thought flow and an emotional flow which interferes with their control. So this is a very easy way for people to escape their, uh, their influence. Okay. Thank you for showing yourself. Now it becomes a little bit tricky because now the last category which we have left are higher spirits. And higher spirits are um, in a way by their nature not so much obedient to us or um, so I can definitely try to invite one from the light side um, thinking if it would be okay to invite one from the dark side as well um, I will try to give people a very quick glimpse of it I'll see if I can pull one here and try to re return it or give it an open way to return very quickly. Um, this is a spirit uh, which I will try to attract from a uh, battlefield. So battlefields are places where yeah in a way there's of course a lot of suffering, anger and destruction and things like this. And um, you could say that it attracts um, loss of life also attracts a certain type of dark spirit um, even though they are higher forms um, they use this energy to gain power in lower worlds like ours so this would be what is called typically a, a blood spirit or a blood demon
So as you can feel, this is, um, yeah. Uh, Okay, I'm going to send this away now. Okay, so fortunately we are usually beneath the notice of uh, such beings. Uh, but yeah, they and um, yeah, um, spiritual masters on the dark side, especially if they're enlightened, they can be, yeah, really 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 difficult to deal with um, so i have no good tips on how to do that rather try to avoid avoid having to do that <laughs> and try to leave it to other higher powers because we're not on the same level as them so it is yeah like me going into the ring with a heavyweight boxer i basically don't stand much of a chance I like the muscle, I like the, the skill, I like the experience, I like the talent, so it's really no competition. So, um, now let's ask for a positive higher spirit, so you can feel what that kind of vibration feels like. So I'm now going to pray to ask for a spirit of justice just willing to reside here for a moment. And these higher spirits, they're usually not very interested in small human affairs, but sometimes they can be found on holy places. Um, and they tend to um, yeah, make wherever they are into their, um, yeah, into their likeness. Just like a blood demon will try to create uh, bloodshed, conflict, aggression. The spirit of justice will also try to, in a way, set things right and to create a kind of a harmony and a balance. Um, so by going to a place where a higher spirit resides, um, you can benefit by its uh, influence. So thank you very much for your presence. So I hope that for the people who are uh, clairvoyant or uh, clairsentient or whatever, it has at least given them some inkling of the types of vibrations um, that can be around there. If you're uh, yeah, working with somebody who's affected by spirits. Okay, good luck with your work. <laughs>